First off, happy holidays. Secondly, we're gonna go over how to do tree diagrams for our dichotomous keys. So we're gonna have a topic. We're gonna to look at modes of transportation. So we're gonna think about all of our modes of transportation between cars, helicopters, planes, boats, and we're gonna put them into two categories. So we'll say modes of transportation that are, we'll go with in the air, and not in air. It's very important that whatever topic we pick, the other one is going to be not that topic. It keeps it very vague so we can continue narrowing down our topic. Okay, so we have our first branch of our tree. This will extend all the way out. So we look at ones that are in the air. We've got helicopter, we've got airplane, we've got uh, you've got a blimp, so a whole bunch of different ones. So we'll look at how we can split all of those into two more categories. So we'll go ones with windows and ones with no windows. Keep in mind that it always has to be not whatever the first category is. Okay? So we look at ones that are in the air with no windows, we know that'll be a blimp. And since that's the only one that at least I can think of right now, that becomes our final part of that branch. So we're done with this one. We have our blimp. That's the only one. Now we're going back up. Looking at modes of transportation in the air that have windows, we're going to have another branch and we're gonna look at another category. So we can say it has a long shape and we say a not long shape. So a long shape, that will be our airplane. The not long shape will be our helicopter. And since we finally have only one on that branch, that becomes the end of that area of our tree. So our tree is kind of extending out. Now we have the other side of our category. So we're looking at all of our modes of transportation that are not in the air. Okay, so we need to break these up into two categories as well. So which ones are not in the air? We can say ones that are on land or ones that are in the water. So when we're looking at land and not land, when we look at land, we're looking thinking about all of our modes of transportation on the land. We need those in two categories. So we'll say it either has four wheels or not four wheels. Right, because we're always doing the opposite of this one. So we think, okay, which ones have four wheels and we'll break them up into categories? Or if we can't think of any more categories, we just give our example and that'll be the end. And we have our example and that'll be the end of that tree as well. Once we have one single species on the end of the branch, that's done. So now I go back, there's nothing. Um, Circle, there's boxed here, so we got not four wheels. We can break that into two categories. We can say either two wheels and not two wheels, or we can just give our example if there's only one, and example if there's only one. Since we're low on time, we're going to go with example. So now, like I said earlier, we have our boxes. Now we go to our not land. We break those up into two categories. We can say underwater or not underwater and we'll keep going we look at our ones that are underwater we can have either two categories or if we can't think of anything there's one example that could just be our submarine and we box it are not underwater, we could have our boat, we could have a jet ski, however we want it, but we'll just put our example 
our example, whatever you come up with. Once we see that we have everything boxed all the way up, our tree diagram is done, and then we can put it into a dichotomous key.